We told you about the Celebrity Club a few weeks back. When we noticed an historic marker dedicated to the legendary Providence nightclub was missing, we wanted to know what happened. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Cho in the middle of the traffic in Providence with this week's Street Story. It was a snow-covered winter day when suddenly one of the last reminders of an important part of Rhode Island history was gone from this traffic median in Providence. Hundreds of drivers saw it every day. The sign is gone, what's going on? So it's not a shock, the Black Heritage Society's Ray Rickman got a few phone calls when it was missing. I assume someone had taken it down and stole it. It was a plaque commemorating one of New England's first integrated musical venues. The Celebrity Club was remembered in the award-winning documentary, Do It Man created by Tom Shaker and Norm Grant, who recalled the stars who played Providence, even if they weren't allowed to sleep in many of the area's segregated hotels. Billy Holiday, Louis Armstrong, Count Basie, Sarah Vaughn, Duke Ellington, Fats Domino. Here's a white entrepreneur trying to make a living. He ought to be able to do it. These are white folks who want to see Nat King Cole. They ought to be able to do it other than on the Ed Sullivan show. With a couple of inches of snow on the ground, Rickman decided to take a closer look where the plaque used to stand. And I dug through the snow and there it was. So the $7,000 marker was pulled from the snow and has been tucked among the extra street signs in this DPW garage ever since. While no one knows who knocked it down or how they did it, the next problem involved finding the money to buy a new pole to put the Celebrity Club plaque back where it belongs. That's when a fellow historian and organization stepped up to help. Uh, so it's absolutely wonderful that uh, Pat Conley um, arranged for the Heritage Harbor Foundation to give the $1,200. This plaque uh, is very important to Rhode Island. The city of Providence is paying to reinstall the historic marker. In Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.